Would you like some coffee or something? I gave up coffee when I was pregnant. I never went back. I understand Ingrid had been feeling ill for a while. That's right. Was last night worse than usual? Uh, I'm not... I'd have to think. There will be an autopsy. So we'll have answers soon enough. Many I spoke to had... strong feelings about your wife. She's not even buried. And people are already dragging her name. She had her defenders. Mostly those who were scared of her. And I think it's safe to say most in this town would celebrate one less Johansson. I could barely even find someone to do the autopsy. It's a small town. Grudges live longer than people. And you, detective. Are you glad to see one less Johansson? I loved her, detective. I shouldn't have to prove that to you. I guess I'll take your word for it. For now, anyway. I've had enough of this. We're in mourning. If I have other questions, I'll be in touch. You know where the door is. I'll walk you out. Your father's memory may be hazy, but mine's not. I know what kind of person Ingrid was. If there's something you're hiding, either of you, you need to tell me. We'll find out either way. burn myself. You sure? Yeah, I... I'm fine. Hey, about the thing with Toby? I, uh... I hope I didn't get you in trouble with anybody at the Foundation. For what it's worth, I think you were right to send him that prayer. Maybe some small part of it got through to him. Xavier's dealing with bigger problems than Toby. Joy's death? You never did tell me what happened. Joy died during a ceremony. It was just her and me, and then... We weren't alone. There was something else. Something right out of Radcliffe's writings. Oh my god. But you can't tell anyone. Xavier needs this to stay quiet until we can figure out what really happened. Understand? Rachel? What's wrong? Rich! We need to go to the Foundation. Now! What? Why? Go get Faith. I'll pack. Rach, it's the middle of the night and- Eric, I know this brings up bad memories for you, but we're not safe here. Well, what do we tell Faith? I guess we could lie and say it's a sleepover. At least she wouldn't be scared. Xavier doesn't approve of keeping the truth from children. We can tell her a story from the scriptures. Xavier keeps copies in his library. Some of those stories are pretty scary, Rach. Eric, you're not helping. Look, we don't have time to debate this. I just need you and Faith to do exactly what I say. It'll be better for everyone. I don't know if she'll listen. She's been acting out again. Eric, go! Yeah, okay. Hello? Did it kill you to answer your phone? Look, I know how you feel about all this. The Foundation's really helped me. Rachel's helped me. Anyway, tonight's a big night for me. I'm a little nervous. Wanted to hear your voice, I guess. Please don't hate me. I'm happy. 
bullshit. You couldn't even answer your fucking phone. Joy? You never cared about me. That's why I joined them. To find a real family. This isn't happening. Then open your eyes. Oh God! Joy! No! What? What? This isn't real. Get your shit together, Toby. We both know that'll never happen. You're just gonna stand there? <gasps> After what they did to me? After what she did? Rachel did this? First she screwed you over. Destroyed your life. Then she took mine. She needs to answer for what she's done, Toby. You deserve the truth. Rachel, the Foundation, they won't say a goddamn thing! I warned you about them, Joy. But I'll show everyone what they did. I can prove it now. Proof? Even if you had it, who would believe you? Or Toby Sorelli, the town drunk, the fuck up. Then what do I do? Please, tell me what to do. Burn it down. All of it. I, I can't. They'd kill me. Joy, please. Joy? Structurally, the liquid in the syringe appears to be an opiate. Morphine? She wasn't prescribed morphine. <gasps> Hello? Hello, Astrid. This is Mrs. Stavik. I'm one of Orson's instructors. Is everything all right? No, I'm afraid not. There was an altercation between some of the kids today. It's hard to say who started it, but Orson bit another student. I'm afraid you're going to have to keep him home until... It's hard to say. Orson could have been pushed or provoked. Maybe it was self-defense. Look, we have a very strict policy about violence. Regardless of how it started, we're suspending Orson for a few days. I'm sorry. <sighs> Did I catch you at a bad time? Got the report on the C1 cultures you wanted. Everything okay? Uh, some drama at Orson's school. Apparently he misbehaved. But it could have been the other kids who started it for all I know. One parent to another? If you let him off easy now, it'll just lead to more bad behavior down the line. Sounds like my mother. If anyone in my family stepped even a toe out of line, we'd never heard the end of it. I never wanted that for Orson. And he's so impressionable at this age. It takes a lot of work to not become our parents. <sighs> Maybe I'll just give him a good talking to. In my experience, lectures are sometimes not enough. In one ear, out the other. What would you do? Something he'd understand. Like taking away his toys. He'd hate it. And I'm not sure I could handle the tears. We all have to learn that actions have consequences. Orson? How about something to eat, yeah? We have, uh... Oh, Eva, when did you get here? Mama kicked me out of the house again. Okay if I stay? Yeah, of course. What do you have there, Lilleven? You got in a bit of trouble at school, I hear. Well, we'll stay out of trouble here, won't we? He beat someone, huh? When I was his age, I used to bite kids at school too. Grandpa? Where's Grandma? That's complicated, Lilleven. 
You haven't told him? I was his age when I lost my grandma. My papa's mama. Oh, he was so sad. He didn't come out of his room for a week. That made mama angry. I kept asking why papa was so sad and that made her even angrier. So finally she told me. What did she tell you? What she thought I needed to hear. Grandpa, where's grandma? You know that your grandma loves you very much, right? Just like I love you. And your mama does too. Where did she go? Well, you see, Lilleven, Grandma... She died. Am I going to die too? Not for a very long time. I don't think I want to. Don't worry about that now, Lilleven. Can you watch him a moment? Orson? Grandpa's going out to check on the farm. Will you be okay playing with your toys for a few minutes? I'll play with Zane. Who is Zane? The man in the fog. Mommy, I don't like it here. I know, sweetie, and I promise we'll go home soon. We just need to be here for a little while. I'll go grab the rest of our things. We set up some cots in the meeting room. You and Eric can... I don't want to stay here. Remember the story about the girl in the stone castle? Her mommy and daddy took her to a big castle so she'd be safe from the monsters outside. And remember who was there to protect them? The prof... Purifier. That's right. Uh... Are there monsters outside? Like in the story? Faith, this place is like the stone castle. Nothing bad can get you in here. Uh, okay. I saw something again tonight. The pure fire? I don't know what it was. Xavier, I'm afraid. Not just for me, but for my family too. Rachel, you are a walking miracle. The purifier would never let anything harm you. What about Eric? What about her? Maybe Krista's right. Maybe I am cursed. Krista is wrong. I'm sure of it. But how do you know? How do any of us know if any of this is true? The elders will help us make sense of all of this. Rachel, we love you. And we would never let anything happen to you or your family. You believe that, right? Of course I do. Good. Now get some rest. <laughs> 